Hi guys and welcome to Take A Break. Um, so today we're going to be looking at how we can theme GIMP, which is the um, default Linux video editor, it's a GNU, um, it's a GNU photo editor even. Uh, we're going to look to theme that so that it looks more like Photoshop. Um, so why, why am I doing this? The first reason is that coming from Windows, um, a lot of you will be used to using Photoshop and despite wanting to get used to GIMP and using that as a tool, it can be quite difficult, especially to sort of learn as a, as a new thing. So what we're going to be doing is making it look like Photoshop with having the same sort of buttons, the same sort of layouts and things like that, which are going to make it a lot easier to pick up and use. Equally, it will enable you to use some of the Photoshop tutorials and things that there is plenty of on the web, um, and we'll be able to uh, able to look at that. Um, sorry in advance about the webcam, we won't be on it for very long, but um, I've broken something with uh, with its sort of, uh, it keeps going really, really dark, um, so we'll be looking to fix that soon as well. So we'll switch over to the computer and uh, let's have a look and see how we do it. So here we are in elementary OS, so this is my, uh, my distro of choice. So what we're going to be doing here is installing GIMP first via the Flatpak. Um, so if you haven't used um, Flatpaks before, you will, uh, especially on elementary OS, you'll need to go to Flathub. Uh, so if you just search Flathub, um, and then you can go into here and search GIMP. As you can see, it's, it's there anyway, but we can search for it and you can install it that way. Now, if you have, um, if you've got elementary OS or another OS that supports um, flat packs, then you can install that directly, especially if you've already installed a flat pack on elementary or pull in um, all of them from Flat Hub anyway. So we'll install it via the software center. So I'll just search GIMP here and it'll come up with the same as well. So um, Glimpse is also a really good program, we'll be doing a video on that soon and, and how that differs. But um, to install um, the GNU image manipulation program we just hit the free button and it will go through it all and, uh, and install. Um, so this is to take a few minutes depending on your system, depending on the amount of resources you've got available to it. Um, the other thing it will depend on is if you've downloaded any of the um, any of the dependencies before, because obviously flat packs are, pa are packaged differently in terms of um, having the base system and then the app on top of on top of that and using all sort of the shared libraries and things. So it'll be downloaded and installed in that as well. Um, if we haven't sort of done those before. And then from there, we'll be following a tutorial today that I found online, which I'm going to do a shout out to because it's really, really comprehensive. And this is from DIYphotography.net by John Aldred. Um, and his tutorial is really, really good on how to install um, Photo GIMP, which is, um, the, uh, which is what we're going to be using today. So um, GIMP should have installed. So the default experience on GIMP, if we have a look, Just take a little while on your first run to load GIMP. Uh, it's one of the things. Here we go. Uh, and I am running this on quite an old, uh, an old laptop um, as well. So as you can see, this is our default, our default GIMP experience. Now it's actually pulled in the fact that I'm using a darker theme uh, as well, which is nice. So this is your default experience. You've got all your sort of tools over here all your brushes and things over here and, and your layers and everything. So that's what it looks like out of the box. So we're just going to close this now so that we can then do this uh, to the photo gimp. So uh, I'll be leaving a link to both this tutorial from DIYphotography.net and also the uh, GitHub page for photo gimp in the uh, description. So we go into uh, the GitHub page of PhotoGimp and it will sort of tell you how it's, it will sort of give you a layout of how it's going to theme it um, and that it's, it is a patch for it and it, it mimics the tool's position um, in, in Photoshop, just makes it a little bit easier to use for people that are used to Photoshop. Now the reason why I did the Flatpak install is it does say um, you should use Flatpak uh, for ease of use, really, um, and it, it gives you the 
the command for the terminal to install the flat pack. So then we need the uh, zip file from the releases page and it says what it contains. Uh, icons, um, a personalized sort of doc, uh, desktop file uh, and name and um, all the tweaks that are in this .var folder. So we will copy those into our home user folder um, overwriting what we've, what we've got in there from, from GIMP already. Um, so the the ones that I won't be copying, I won't be copying the icon. Um, I like the GIMP icon, I like the fact that I'm, I'm using GIMP so I'm going to keep that. And also I won't be changing the name of it to Photo GIMP or whatever because I won't remember that when I'm doing my search. So I won't be copying icons and local because it will say here, if you just want the Photo GIMP customization, just extract only the .var folder into your home directory. So that's what we'll be doing. So I will get onto the releases page and I will download the Photo GIMP release and we will save that in our downloads directory. So that'll take a few minutes to pull through. Brilliant, that's done and then we'll go and open that up and extract it. And again, I'll extract it to download a whole of stuff in there in a minute. Uh, I've just been setting up uh, setting up Odin so it's quite a few bits in there. Right, so here we go. So it, it gives you a, a, um, a how to install text file. What we're interested in is this var app org.gimp. So this is what I'm in a copy and I'm going to go into home and if you're on elementary OS and you can't see any of these uh, any of these folders you just need to right click and hit show hidden files so I'm now going to go into .var app and then we should have an org.gimp file so I'm going to delete that and then I'm going to paste my new one in there and that is a, that's as simple as it is. So now we're going to see if that's worked. So if I then go back and launch GIMP, we should find that it starts to read those files and hopefully gives us that customization. So yeah, instantly, Photo GIMP as the splash screen. So it's now starting to query the plugins and, and everything like that. So let this start up. So for some reason, so we'll move it back. I'll just need to scale this. But as you can see, instantly change as to how it is going to look so that it looks more like the Photoshop experience um, that you may well be used to. Um, it's yeah, it's it's what it is. If you <laughs> um, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. And you can always go back by. Um, what you would need to do is either restore the um, existing um, the existing folder that we just deleted um, from the .var directory, or what you what you can do is just um, uninstall the flat pack, make sure that, that directory is deleted, reinstall the flat pack, and uh, it will it will recreate itself in uh, the the actual uh, files it needs. Um, but that would be uh, that would be how you get back. Um, you can obviously also rename that file. I just don't like um, having that clutter in sort of my dot bar. So you can rename that to old dot whatever it is, uh, whatever the old one was, and then put the new one in there, and it and it, and it will just work the same. Um, but it is it is worth just um, making sure that you've got everything there. But that's. That's pretty much it, and that's that's how you theme GIMP to look like Photoshop. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, obviously, we're a new channel, so if you if you do like um, seeing content keeping coming, then please hit the uh, like and subscribe buttons. Uh, they really, really do um, help both motivate me to create more stuff and also help with the YouTube algorithm, as I'm sure you're aware, to um, to make our videos so that more people can see them. So that's great and uh, leave any comments in the comments below and I will pick those up. Thanks.